Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about the program for matrix multiplication in C. We know that multiplication of a matrix is possible when the number of column of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. That is the basic rule for matrix multiplication. So let us see the program. Include stdio.h as the program starts with the standard input output dot header file and then we have the defin defining values for rows columns of the matrix A and B. So this is one type of defining the constant values. So define rows A underscore A. This is the one of the ruling of the name naming the variable. So if you want to give some two different uh, words to join we are using the underscore okay so rows underscore a space 2 that means the the value of the row of a is 2 and likewise define columns a 3 we can give any variable we can give us uh, c c1 c2 r1 r2 as we wish just it is one of the naming convention i have given here so define columns a means the a is 3 that means three columns of the first matrix and then define rows b that is the row of the second matrix and define columns row of the that is the column of the second matrix so that means here the first matrix a is 2 by 3 and then the second matrix b is 3 by 4 so now now the column of a is 3 and row of b is 3 now the matrix multiplication is possible and the answer of the matrix the answer matrix will be of the size 2 by 4 okay let us see how the program works so now we define the number of rows and number of columns we can also get these using the scanf and printf but this is one way of doing the program we are defining the value as a constant okay and now the, as usual the program starts with the main integer main and then the open brace int next we are declaring the matrix we know that matrix is the 2 by t 2 by 2 array okay so here this is one way of matrix initialization what we are doing is we are assigning values to the matrix instead of getting through the screen using scanf we can also assign the values like this uh, this this will work for a constant uh, matrix same matrix it will work okay so now how to declare integer matrix a this is the name of the matrix rows a columns a that, that means the size row comma column is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 within the set brace there are curly braces set brace and then comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 one set brace all in single set brace what does it mean is 1 2 3 is the first row 4 5 6 is the second row we have two rows here columns are three columns 1 2 3 likewise 4 5 6 two columns are there okay so now likewise we are defining the next matrix also b matrix so b matrix is integer matrix b rows b columns b so what is the value we can see here there are one two three rows are there because the, okay now one set is 7 8 9 10 one row 11 12 13 14 another row and next row is the next variable which is the the values are given okay so next is the so one two three rows are here and then columns are seven eight nine ten one two three four columns are there okay so b matrix is of three by four a matrix is of two by three size okay integer result rows a column b so this is how the answer will come that means the answer will have the number of rows of the a column and number of columns of the b column B, B matrix okay so that is what it is given as integer result rows a column b comma i comma j comma k these i comma j comma k are the variables used to, to lose used to, to use the loops okay so all the variables are declared now we are going to start the logic so what is the logic here the logic says for j is equal to 0 j less than columns b j plus plus integer sum is equal to 0 then for k okay before that we have the i uh, also so multiply the two matrices for i is equal to 0 i less than rows a i plus plus and then under that we have nested loop for j is equal to 0 j less than columns b j plus plus and after the two after the nested for loop we are giving the 
sum as integer sum is equal to 0 okay so now this we know that when you multiply a matrix first row will be multiplied by the first column and the sum is found out then we make it as a element of the resultant row resultant matrix likewise it will then second row will be taken and then it will be done with the first column so likewise the matrix multiplication goes okay so now the third loop third for loop says for k is equal to 0 k less than rows be k plus plus so the third loop really does the inner product of the matrix elements so sum is equal to sum plus we are using the increment of the using the assignment equal to operator here sum is equal to sum plus so sum plus equal to matrix of a of i comma k into matrix of b of k comma j this is the real logic of the matrix multiplication so matrix of i comma k and matrix b of k comma j so the answer will be matrix of a of i comma j okay so this is what the logic and then the sum will be found out then the braces are closed for the inner for loop now result is equal to sum so what we are getting from the sum is the result matrix which is the result of i comma j when we are closing the uh, j for loop and the i for loop here okay two closed bases are there so that's all we have found out the result matrix now we are going to print it so how to print it as usual it will print the uh, messages print f result matrix and then we are going to print the using the for loop so for i is equal to 0 i less than rows a plus plus i plus plus for j is equal to columns b j plus plus and we are going to print this print of the result so print of percentage d result i comma j so this will print out the multiplied matrix okay and now if you want you can give some slash t for the clear formatting and now we are closing this for loop also and all the for loops are closed and finally we are closing the program after the return zero so as we know that return zero is the successful completion of the program okay so that's all the matrix multiplication program this program is not getting input from the screen it is assigning the values this is another way of doing the program okay so now that's all the program uh, is over now the result is the matrix is multiplied and give the answer is some answer is given okay so that's all the simple logic of how to do the matrix multiplication hope it is easy and simple to follow and thanks for watching